This week, uh, Congress has an opportunity to come together to help hardworking Americans and those taxpayers and extend the payroll tax cut holiday. No state needs Congress to put aside political bickering more than the great state of Nevada. Right now, as a percentage, more Nevadans are looking for jobs than in any other state. Right now, more Nevadans are having difficulty holding on to their homes than in any other state. And right now, more Nevadans are filing for bankruptcies than in any other state. There was a report that was released yesterday named Nevada the toughest place in the country to find a job. Our number one priority in this Congress should be to turn this economy around and get, get people working again. And yet here I am standing on the United States Senate floor today trying to convince the majority not to raise taxes on small businesses. I'm proud of my state. I'm confident that with the right policies in place, Nevadans can find job opportunities and overcome these difficult times. But in order for that to happen, Congress must put partisanship aside, come together to pass meaningful legislation that benefits Americans who need help in this tough economy and expand opportunities for employers looking to hire. Extending the payroll tax cut will allow Americans to hold on to wages they worked hard to earn. Under my plan, hardworking American taxpayers will not see a tax increase. Under my plan, we will prevent a tax increase on those already receiving the payroll tax credit. And under my plan, employers can continue to invest in their businesses so they can grow, expand, and hire more workers without the fear of a tax increase. Americans need jobs desperately. Congress should be focused on policies that create jobs and drive long-term economic growth. The legislation I have proposed allows Congress to responsibly extend the payroll tax cut and treat taxpayers' dollars appropriately. There's no question, Congress should extend the payroll tax cut. Republicans, Democrats, Independents, everyone agrees on that. But we shouldn't do it by turning around and raising taxes on employers everywhere. Nevadans are looking for jobs. Increasing taxes on small businesses in Nevada is bad economic policy, and taking away the capital that they could use to invest makes little sense. Rather than finding a solution for hardworking Americans, the majority has chosen to go down a path that is engineered purposely to fail. They know that there's little chance that a tax increase on the American hardworking taxpayers and their businesses will pass the Senate. And they know that there's no chance their tax increase will pass in the House. So instead of success and reaching bipartisan agreement, the majority has chosen to focus on failure and scoring political points. Honestly, these are the games that the American people are tired of my way or the highway mentality. Proposals that have no chance for success, bickering at the expense of our economy. We have a, divide, a divided Congress. That means that to ensure 160 million, million Americans receive an extension of this tax cut, we need to move beyond petty politics of this majority. As a senator from the state that's leading the nation in unemployment, I'm particularly disturbed by this determination to play the political game rather than focus on solutions that work for all Americans. With a little common sense, we can pay for the payroll tax cut without raising taxes on job creators. We can reduce government spending where it's no longer needed and require the richest Americans to pay higher premium, premiums for Medicare. This will allow us to strengthen and preserve Medicare for those, who, those Americans who rely on the program the most. And since my colleagues on the other side of the aisle frequently talk about how the richest Americans should be doing more, I believe this is an approach that both Democrats and Republicans can support. By voting for this alternative plan, Congress can put political gamesmanship aside and support a workable solution for all Americans. 
The bipartisan veterans job bill, along with the 3% withholding bill that Congress passed earlier this month, is proof that when Congress has the will to work together, they can find a pathway forward. My proposal provides Congress with another opportunity to break the political gridlock here in Washington, D.C., and vote for a solution that can pass Congress and be signed into law. I'm hopeful that Congress can work together to extend the payroll tax cut, preserve opportunities for job growth. It's past time that Congress put aside politics and focus on policies that work for Nevadans and all Americans already struggling in this difficult economic environment. Thank you, Mr. President. I yield back the floor.